Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, at this channel, we're a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. We are all about saving lives over here at the Jamaica Young Police Center. So that's why we support preemptive strikes. Because preemptive strikes save life. Anyone who can make you believe absurdity can make you commit any criminal act. A wise man can change his mind, but a fool will never. Because he's a fool. And remember that you must never try to educate a fool. Because the fool will eat you. Only a friend will tell you the truth. And fakers will cheer you on even when you are wrong. Anyone who has the balls or spine to tell a friend the truth, after that, most people, especially Jamaicans, normally get vexed and upset with you and end the relationship. But guess what? They weren't even your friends anyway because they do not respect others who are honest, truthful, and straightforward with them and not a faker. Before we begin today's video, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel want our audience and detractors to know that anything that we have said here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel that is incorrect, you can reach out to us at 954-556-0275 and we will give you the chance to correct the same. To us, the first and foremost thing about us on this channel is our character, credibility and reputation. We have never slandered or defamed anyone's name on this platform. And whatever you are hearing is the truth. If the truth shall kill those who hate the truth, let it kill them. Remember that we said before, those who do not know the truth are fool and those who knew the truth and call it a lie is a depraved and criminal minded people. Never say what you want to do until you experience it. Like being a police officer. So don't say that things you know until you experience it. So you cannot, you know, you know have a lot of blow ons out there telling you how police supposed to operate but don't say anything until you have experience being a police officer yeah so we don't continue this the story um, regarding Ricky Trooper's daughter who was killed yeah that is Ricky Trooper's son-in-law who was captured in Ohio with an illegal gun also in the company of a wanted Jamaican yes you know Jamaicans everywhere they go that they don't seem to you know, they, they, they can't stay out of trouble. And even this man, you know that he was a criminal because he had two two names. And criminals have two names. You understand? So, I want you, my loyal viewers and subscribers, you watch, you listen, you decide, and you'll hear for yourself um, what you're saying about this man who killed his, his son's mother because he was getting born. Yeah, and he couldn't take it. A big, big, great old man like this man getting born and cannot take it. So you watch, you listen, you decide. The mother of his child in Bridgeport has been captured in Ohio. Bridgeport police say Derek Francis is in custody. As they reported, there was a national manhunt to try and find him. Francis is accused of fatally shooting 23-year-old Brianna McCoy on April 6th. Officers say that Francis is also facing gun charges in Ohio. They say that a gun was found in his car after he tried to run from police. Uh, police say that once Francis is extradited, he will be charged with murder. Yes, and you know, right now he's sitting in a cell, you know. You know what he's saying to himself? Why, well, if me did know. Because, you know, most Jamaicans, you know, all they do, they act, then they think after. They don't think before. You know. That's the way that they were cultured. Hack, then they think. And in time they start thinking now, they start to blame some invisible entity for what they have done. They were like, why I'm a the devil and all kind of thing. Don't take responsibility for your action. So you know this man um who went by two names. You know this young he's forty one, so he's eighteen years older than this young girl. What he expects, she's just in her prime. He cannot, he cannot manage her. You understand? Because him take time is 
up the hill in her boat for cross over to the next the next side. So you know say so she want a stallion, he's not a stallion. He cannot manage her. You understand? So she have to give him bun. But him not believe in her that if he say him want her. And she decides say at this time time's up in you know, a big man. You understand? And him say he decides say no and a time's up it for me, you know, because me I spend on you all, all kinda of things. And you don't know she a bad girl, so she'll tell him all kinda of things. And him just decide say, alright, I saw it go, you yeah, diss me. So him just pump up, you know, some shot in her. Oh, dirty man, waste man. But these are the men that you know, some of our favorite artists in Jamaica big up, you know, kind of shatter. Yes. You know, but that's why we must not preach violence and, you know, bigging up people, who kill people. We don't want that. We don't want a society like that. That's why I don't embrace people who are killers. The only killers I embrace are the people who work for the government, like the police or the soldiers. They you know they deal with preemptive strikes because they have to protect themselves from the old parasites and prevent the parasite from killing another Jamaican or a visitor or a tourist. It's called preemptive strikes, it's about saving life. Some life's not worth saving. So that's what we're all about here. So on April seventeenth, twenty twenty three, detectives from Bridgeport police Homicide Squad confirmed with law enforcement agency in Ohio, Chugiago County PD and Solon PD, they are in their custody, Ainsley Forbes. Ainsley Forbes, also known as Derek Francis, is wanted out of Bridgeport, Connecticut for April 6, 2023 murder of Brianna Mackay. That's a girl called Breeby. Um, Ricky Chopper's daughter. I don't know if his nene's daughter. I don't know if you know if his ma if if the girl's mother is a youth I used to go to school with him, Curtis Morrison Toad. You know, him come from Spanish town and him did, you know last time I know that he was somewhere in the United States I haven't spoken to him. In addition to the extradition warrant, Francis also faces gun charge in Ohio. So long Ohio police officers conducted a motor vehicle stop in their jurisdiction when Francis was observed fleeing the vehicle on foot. Police engaged him in a foot pursuit and murdered a quick apprehension. A loaded firearm was found in the vehicle. In case you know him, 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 him uh, what's the sense of him having, having the gun and then him leave, run leave it? You know, so should I just leave the gun after you kill the girl because you are coward and you don't want dead. But you 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 know you feel good for no say you kill her and you boast out. You call other people from the phone and tell them how you kill her. And then next day you end up now with this other boy you now wanted. You know, so we we'll continue the journey. Francis has been held in Ohio as a fugitive from justice. He is pending arraignment and extradition back to Connecticut where he will be charged with murder of Brianna Mackay. Bond is three million. So we're gonna find three hundred thousand to get out this other thing, man. And plus, no that they are too near him up. So he's not a fixed place of a boat either. And you know say so not working. You understand? This continues to be an active investigation. Anyone with information regarding the crime is asked to contact homicide detective Keith Anson at two zero three five eight one five two four three or utilize the bridgeport. Tip, police tip line 203576 tips and you know and the police them them town the police you know for capturing this man so you know to all of these so called Jamaicans who you know to say them cold like ice and them are killing and them thing you know this man you know say man spend the rest of his life in prison and you know it might be somebody's bitch in there because one thing you know with these White men, you know, and black men who are in prison. They're not playing, you, know. you understand? And more or less, you know, they have a rough time inside here. Just hope them keep him inside, they make him die inside a prison and natural death. Don't give him, no, um, you know, 
don't give him no, no 25 years, you know, give him um, 35 years to life so he can dead inside of the prison. Because he took this young girl's life, you know, and think that he's going to get away. Because I think that it's Jamaica, you know, you know in Jamaica you just kill people and, you know, the system works for you as a criminal. You understand? But in America is a different story. We are very, very happy here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel that this man was caught because he's a monster for what he had done. How can you love somebody and then you turn around and kill them? You know, you know, you know sometimes people have problems in a relationship, but that's not the way you go about things, man. You know, you think through things before you do it. If it's not right, you don't do it because we are all about doing the right things. Because as, as a people, you, oh, you know, you cannot, oh, if you say you love somebody, then you kill them. That is just a monster. But bear and behavior that man. We are not supposed to be doing that. But however, this man did it. And it's sad. It's sad. Our deepest condolences to Ricky Trooper and Nene. I don't even know Nene right now. I don't think I have a I mean, I'm Curtis sister. But Ricky Trooper, all the faith. And I can see, you know, I see you, you know, I know you feel it. That, you know, them take your daughter, but why? It's, you know, it's really sad. Because a parent that's supposed to be with them children. You understand? And it's really, really sad. And my deepest condolences to you. You understand? Although I am, you know, I am not a fan or a freaky trooper. Because. That's just how it is, you know. But in this time, you know, you lost, you, you know, you lose your, your daughter under these circumstances, especially at the hands of somebody who claimed that he loved her. And it's just really sad. People have no heart anymore. Yeah. Stay strong, Kichupa, and the rest of. The Makai family. Yeah, you are the real Makai man. If you have reached this far, please click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. And select all so that whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video, you will be the first to receive the notification so you can get to see, you know, ahead of the line. Yes. Share the video. Comment below. We will re we'll read every comment and respond appropriately. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel. Out.